Hi guys, my name is Merel. It's nice to have you here. Today I am going to show you how I create my moon paintings. I will show this in a journal spread that I make. I'm going to show you an example first. This is the moon I was talking about. If you're here for the tutorial only, I will start at 49 seconds in the video. First, I'm going to show you my essentials. I'm going to work with white and black gouache paint. Gouache is a water-based medium and it works really well in this case. I will use liquid black watercolors for the background and a pair of compasses to draw a perfect circle with. Last but not least, I will work with a black fine liner by Micron and a white one for the details. I will also use paint brushes. I would recommend you to use two smaller brushes and one that's a little bigger. Now, before I start, this is my version of a moon painting, but it's not perfect. I share this tutorial with you because I think it's a quite easy way to draw the moon, but it's not perfect in any way. The circle is done, so now I apply the white gouache paint on the page. I do this very randomly, just make sure that you have enough white paint. The next step is the black gouache paint. Some people say that gouache is the non-transparent version of watercolors and I can agree with that. Usually the colors are beautifully pigmented. If you want the colors to blend, you can use water. I like the technique of dabbing paint. It basically means that you dab the paint on the page and the overall cute thing is that you create structure by doing this. When you paint a moon, you can add as many layers as you want to. Just make sure that you use enough white paint and that different parts of the painting are highlighted. I usually always highlight the bottom. You can also add extra white details if you feel like that. By the way, I haven't mentioned it yet, but I work in the Hanamule watercolor journal. In my previous video, I showed you a flip through of that same book and I reviewed it. Guess what? I like the structure of the paper so much that I bought it again. Gouache works well on different kinds of paper. Just be careful that you do not blend it with a lot of water if you use regular paper. This might wrinkle or ruin, ruin the pages and that's not what you want. I already started with the background. Of course, I want a starry sky that blends well with the moon. So I use black watercolor paint for that. You could also use black paper. I didn't mention it before, but with gouache you can paint on black paper as well. Since watercolor is quite transparent, I add at least two layers of paint. After that, you have to be careful since it needs to dry for some time. I already showed you this effect in my previous videos, but I still really like it. I use a large paint brush to get a speckled effect with my white paint. If you don't want to mess up your table, you could put your notebook on an old newspaper or magazine, or you could clean the paint afterwards, like I did. Now it's time to add details. As you might know, I love to add quotes or personal writings. That's why I add this piece of paper. With my small paintbrush and the same gouache paint, I write down a quote. This is basically a way to make the page more interesting. I do have to admit that the idea that I had in my head looked different. The final result is not my best work, but well, at least I tried. The background could use extra white dots and illustrations, so that's one of the last things that I add. And this is the final result! I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it inspired you to create your own moon painting with gouache, acrylics or watercolors. And I hope to see you soon. Bye bye!